Good morning. I recently had an uh, email conversation with a longtime customer who was, uh, I think he was in a discussion with some buddies about what makes Flatlander surf casting different from other bag manufacturers out there. What what separates me and stuff like that. And I think that uh, he was coming to my defense and maybe being challenged by his buddy, stuff like that. So he was asking me some questions about materials and stuff like that. And um, kind of made me think about, you know, what, what I've done over the past uh, 10 plus years in researching and building what I think are the best bags that can possibly be made uh, at least that I can make and uh, made me think about the relationships that I have with my manufacturers uh, some deep relationships um, like for example my my what I call my webbing guy uh, for the webbing that I use on here um, I have known him since 2013 uh they are a usa based manufacturer uh of webbing uh many of their products are uh, mil spec that means it's very compliant uh means that it has to be made with all usa uh sourced goods and has to pass uh military specifications so that it can be very compliant um i mean i've had this relationship with i've used the same webbing webbing guy now uh for over a decade uh and it's because i know that it's it's the best that i can source i'm not sourcing some pennies per yard uh webbing from some online retailer where heck knows where they're getting their their materials from and from one lot to the next it's going to change and um i had uh, this this conversation with uh this customer of mine made me think about a conversation that i actually had with one of my manufacturers last week and that I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe other surf bag manufacturers go to these depths as well or have these relationships, but I kind of doubt it. And uh, this conversation that I had, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this, but I'm gonna cover it up because it's proprietary. This webbing is actually um, proprietary to Flatlander Surf Casting. Um, my this is the this is the trim that I use on the edges of my bags. And I developed the relationship with this manufacturer. Uh, I would say it was probably about eight years ago, something like that. Uh, before then, I did not have a consistently good source for edge trim until I met this manufacturer. And what I do is every every year, I'll usually attend one or two industrial uh, textiles conferences. I mean, can you think of anything more boring? But anyway, for me, I'm like a, a pig and slop. I love it. So I attend these conferences. They it costs me three to five thousand dollars to attend one of these shows, but it gives me the opportunity to meet with the premier manufacturers of everything that I use, and I can at these shows I can literally meet with everyone that I work with. I mean, my my CNC person who I bought my CNC from. Uh, Carlson, no, no, um, no secrets there. They're uh, based out of uh, Oklahoma. Uh, wonderful CNC manufacturer gives me the opportunity to every bag that I built. It's cut. The materials are cut the same. They're cut perfectly. It's just there. It's just so nice. I mean, that was close to a six-figure investment 
for a CNC machine. And you guys know me, I am a tiny little manufacturer. Um, one man show, uh, no one else, no one else behind any of these machines but me. So, um, and then, you know, I, I meet with my sailcloth manufacturer. Um, I meet with my, I meet, I meet with my grommet manufacturer. I know where all my stuff is coming from. Um, some other materials that I use on some of my um, accessories. It's not like uh, that I'm just sourcing these things random willy-nilly. I know where my stuff is coming from. I know that I've got an email contact or a phone contact where I can contact these people and, um, and talk. And the interesting thing was is that uh, I guess it was a couple weeks ago, my... Uh, edge trim manufacturer contacted me and they said that they were making a slight change to the uh, the edge trim that I use um, on my bags and the um, this edge trim is actually uh, it's a it's a military uh, grade product that is, it's what's actually called life critical. So it, 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 your surf bag is not life critical, but for the applications that the military uses this edge trim for, it has to be uh, certified as life critical. Um, and that's the trim that I use on my bags. I'm, I'm not sourcing some uh, pennies per yard trim. I'm sourcing trim that's dollars per yard uh, for your bags. Um, and they had contacted me because they were making a change uh, to a new coating process on the edge trim that the military had requested to make it even more abrasion resistant. And uh, I haven't had any issues with abrasion resistance uh, on my edge trim since I first started building bags um, back in uh, 2013. And since I switched to this manufacturer, um, it's just been outstanding. The the stuff that they produce is just outstanding, and they are a uh, small family owned mill uh, that produces these goods. But they are the best. They're just so awesome. I know I geek out over this stuff. I'm like a nerd when it comes to some of these materials. Um, but I want you to know that this is the 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 stuff that when I'm building a bag, this is what uh, I care about. I, I care that the bag or the accessory that I build for you is the best that it can possibly be. It's the best that I can that I can um, that I can produce. Uh, and if I find something better or if a manufacturer makes a change, uh, I will uh, research it, work with them, and possibly incorporate that into uh, my bags and I, I i know that this this last show that i attended this would have been i think it was yeah it was halloween it was uh show started uh, i went down to the show on uh the 31st and i think i was there uh november 1st 2nd 3rd something like that and i met with every one of my manufact manufacturers i mean i met with my sewing machine needle manufacturer. I met with my thread manufacturer, um, sailcloth. Uh, had uh, ran into my, my, I'm walking through the lobby of the uh, of the show and my my webbing guy says, hey Jamie, and I'm like, who, who knows who knows me here? Well, it's my webbing guy that I've known for a decade. Um, and then I met with the, the edge trim, the people, everyone. Um, I get the opportunity to have FaceTime with them and uh, talk about any new developments, uh, stuff that they are, are doing that they care about my bags too, which is crazy. I mean, the, the guy from the CNC company, um, I know he had other customers to talk talk to and stuff, but when I'm walking around the show, I usually have one of my bags in my shoulder, and he was just geeking out over it and saying how he uh, he said I don't fish, but I want to own one of your bags just because how how cool they are. Um, I meet with there's some some products that I source, a uh, couple products that I source for accessories 
I come from overseas. I get to meet with my German manufacturers. I mean, how cool is that? That, you know, that I know where this stuff is coming from. They know me. And uh, so, yeah. When you ask what makes, when this customer asked what makes Flatlander surf casting different, I would say a lot of it has to do the, with the relationships that I've built to ensure that I know that I'm giving you the best possible uh, raw materials for the best possible bags and accessories uh, that I can build to hopefully make your time on the water uh, more enjoyable. So yeah, just thought I'd do a, a, a quick video here because that, you know, I, I, I don't think that other manufacturers necessarily have these relationships. Um, I don't know if anyone before me ha had it. I, I, I strongly doubt it. I know that, you know, you got to do a lot of research in order to build uh, these bags, but the relationships that comes out of this research is just, just invaluable. And I have these relationships. I know these people and um, it, it makes me happy that, I, that they actually care that what I produce uh, with their stuff is as good as it can be. So anyway, just a, uh, a, a quick little thing there about what makes Flatlander different from another bag. So, all right, I am going to get back to sewing and I hope everyone is looking forward to the upcoming 2024 fishing season. I know that I am. I am working on finishing the last of the bags uh, for this month and I will get on to uh, the the next month's bag. I'm just kind of buried right now. Um, I know that right now I am booked out six months, which is typical for this time of the year. Um, some people are willing to wait and some people are willing to get a bag from someone who may not go through the, uh, or may not have the uh, relationships that I have, but most of my, most of my customers are willing to make the wait with me. So anyway, I'm a one man shop and do my best. So thanks again for all of your support. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.